what's going on guys so my car was acting up um, this week and uh, usually when it's cold out my car likes to chirp the serpentine belt chirps and this time it was chirping really loud and it was just consistent before usually it chips it chirps when it's cold for about five minutes and then it stops and uh, this time it was pretty consistent so I came in here and I I'm checking out the pulleys and stuff like that I had already replaced the idler pulley before but the AC condenser pulley it's kind of weird look check it out guys look at this it spins but then it stops and I know for a fact it's not supposed to do that it's supposed to spin freely and I have a feeling I have to replace the clutch bearing and um, yeah I don't think it's there's supposed to be a little gap here which looks like it's fine the clutch between the clutch and uh, the actual pulley there's a little gap there and there's enough gap and I don't think the clutch is is riding on this at all and I have a feeling it must be the bearings so I'm gonna go out and buy the bearing bearing for it and replace it and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride all right see ya all right so I'm having trouble so in order for you to take out the bearing there's a there's a nut in there and when you turn the nut this turns as well so I found this tool right here so this tool is from Milwaukee and it's for my angle grinder and you use this to to uh, to um, replace the, the the disc on the angle grinder and it fits perfectly on here check it out guys so if you guys ever look at this so if you ever got if you guys ever need to take this nut out from, from the AC compressor this tool is perfect look at this I'm so happy right now so yeah guys look at this Milwaukee angle grinder tool fits perfectly on here so yeah alright guys so I pulled it out so you guys could see and uh, there were some spacers so just keep in mind that this is a clutch I'm assuming right here and inside there there were two spacers there's a it's kind of a thick one and a thinner one just make sure you guys don't lose these and uh, as I mentioned earlier there's a little space between this and that pulley and that prevents from this that prevents this from touching all the time so that's what these spacers are here for there's a snap ring that's inside there in order for me to take the pulley off and I don't have any pliers snap ring pliers so I'm gonna go and buy those and then I'm gonna go buy the bearing as well and I hope you guys could see it but I thought it was the clutch that was bad that was rubbing against this but it's not since I took the clutch face off of it and it's still turning really rough so there it is alright guys so it's the next day and I finally got my part and I have everything taken apart this is where the bearing goes. It gets pressed on from this side, not from this side. And the bearing actually had a little retainer in it. It was easy to take off. I use this little pick and the retainer goes in here so the bearing won't come out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna install the bearing now. And yep. Uh, also, I don't know what this is, but it was inside here. It's like a little metal piece. And I mean, I don't know what this does, but I'm going to leave it in there just the way it was. It just sits in there like this. So yeah, time to install the bearing. Bearings, guys. So I got these. I got this one. This is a new one. That's the old one right there. And I got these at O'Reilly, and they were, they were special order, so it took me about a day to get. 
I went to two different O'Reilly's. I went to an AutoZone. They both did not have them in stock. So this is the part number right here, just in case you guys need it. It's 5001 KFF Federal Mugle. And there it is, guys. So now I need to install it. And I'll bring you guys along. Guys, I got the new bearing in. I used the old bearing to hammer it on. I mean, I looked up at tutorials online and they suggested I use this. So it's pressed in, it's a pressed in fit, and everything's flush. Now I just need to, there's a clip. Hold on, give me one second. There's a clip that goes behind here. I gotta put that on, and reassemble everything, and I can't forget the little spacers that go into here. So let me put everything together, and I'll show you the finished product. All right guys, so everything's installed. And it took a long time because I didn't have the snap ring pliers, so I had to go buy some. And the bearings they didn't have in stock, so I had to order them and I got them the next day. But yeah, guys, look at this. This thing is smooth. Ooh. The other one, I cleaned everything inside, make sure none of the no dirt was inside. But the other old bearing, I'd spin it and it'll stop halfway by itself. And I mean, that could cause my belt to chirp or just the fact that. You know there's more resistance it was probably you know riding on the ribs or something the belt but anyways guys that's everything um i did mention the product number for the bearing earlier so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll talk to you guys later peace